Hi everybody, it's Gail from Gail's Bookish Things. I wanted to share with you this evening my currently inked pens. And I've got to say, before I get into this, I loved the ones from the last couple of weeks. My Opus 88 and my Twisby 1.1 stub. Everything was amazing, except the medium Twisby is not my favorite. Now it writes wonderfully. I didn't have any trouble with anything on that, but my writing is just not as controlled uh, with the finer or the medium nibs. I'm not sure why that is, but something about the broad nib does better for me. And especially when I'm using the Cosmo Air, which is what I have here this evening. So one ink that I have talked about before that I decided to try again was the um, Robert Oster or Robert Oster Grun Gilt. I'm going to bring this forward and I'm looking in my phone and can you see the amazing, oh my goodness, the shimmer on that is just awesome. You start to write with it and it just pools almost on the paper. And I had this trouble last time. I wrote for a little bit. I was absolutely in love. I was ready to order a bottle. This is from a sample vial. And then all of a sudden, it starts doing this. And it. I feel like, I mean, I don't know for sure, but I can't think of anything else other than that the um, sparkle elements, the shimmer elements, are clogging up the pen nib. I put this in my Caveco as I wrote up here. My double broad, dark olive, I thought that would help. Um, but I just wrote for just a minute and then it started getting all scratchy and dry. I had the same trouble last time, although I have had um, friends remark that they didn't have any trouble with it at all. So, because I think it's such a pretty ink and I think this would be so nice to write with this at Christmas time during the holiday season, I wanted to try it again, so I picked my Twisby Jade Broad, which is a pretty um, wet broad. It, I've had other people remark on that as well, or I've, I've heard that. It didn't fill real well. I don't have a whole lot of it, but let's see how it does. I typically write the kind of pen, pen color, I mean. So, I don't know if you can even see how it's still kind of pooling there. Oh, it's, it's really beautiful. I love the greenish undertone and the sparkle with it. It's, this was just gorgeous, but I, it won't stay writing like that. Even these are quite different, I feel like. Um, looks to me, at least. From this side of things, there's a lot more green showing. And when I first wrote with the Caveco, I really got a strong gold vibe there. Um, just do a little this. It comes down, or comes out of the pen, super gushy. It's just a really pretty ink. I'm hoping to have better luck with the Twisby. Then I did with the Quebeco. I tried to write with it. I dipped it. It just, it wouldn't do anything. And then I kind of primed it and made a big <laughs> blob of ink there. But it's gorgeous. It's an amazing ink. I think you just need the right combination. As you can see, inking up pens, I stained my fingers and I haven't got out my magical soap yet. So I will do that soon. I still have the, um, ooh, look at the shimmer. Ooh, so pretty. This is the Stormy Gray Grease Orage by J. Urban, and I have it still in my Twisby Eco Broad Nib Gray, Cement Gray. I um, refilled this today. I had pretty much written it dry, which doesn't happen too often. And I, I'm just kind of determined, at least until further notice, that this will always hold that ink. I have not gotten tired of it yet because it never disappoints. It works with every paper I write with and then watching Marcy Me I just got the urge to get out my luminous amber Bennu pen this also is a um what am I trying to say broad luminous amber 
It's the name of the pen, and it's a Bennu pen. Broad, I put in this one, um, Color Versus Coffee Break. As you can see, it has gold and sparkles in it. It's almost like a caramely color. I mean, obviously gold up in here on the cream background, but the center part kind of makes me think of caramel. And so it seemed like maybe this coffee break, coffee might, coffee break, coffee, no, this is not really coffee, this is ink. This coffee break ink might be a fun way to um, pair these up. And we'll see, we'll see if I like that. If it doesn't work, I typically, if I can't stand it, I just rinse it out of the pen, but we'll give it a whirl for a while. This is a fun pen, it's very pretty. It's the first um, pen that my husband bought for me. And I just was really drawn to the colors on that. And then I have my F Signum back on my Franklin Christoph. I got out my little pen notebook because for the life of me, I can't remember, but the SIG stands for um, Stub Italic Gradient Nib. Let's try this one. Now in this one, I have Monteverde's Jade Noir, and it's coming out really nicely. Sig. Um, it's like the 0 0.3 pen. It's the antique glass look. Let me just put that back on so you can kind of see. Let me get this out of the way. I love the ends, how there's that extra acrylic there. I was really drawn to this right away. I was happy to buy it from Jen and I've enjoyed this pen but I don't typically grab it and I don't know why because it's it's wonderful to write with this a different kind of writing experience for me for sure because I usually pick broads as I have mentioned um, but this writes so nice it really is kind of gushing out of there. Let me bring it closer and see if that will be visible to you. It's a nice wet flow and it feels very smooth and it just forces me um, in a good way to write smaller and you can really get a nice, much smaller 03 antique glass, I think it's called or vintage glass, something like that, or at least it's referred to as that. It's really easy to write small, and even though it's a fine nib, I feel like it, um, maybe the stub aspect still allows me to control my writing better than I do with just a basic fine or a basic medium nib. But you can see how small you can get without any trouble. That really would be a good thing for taking notes, I think especially if I'm running out of room. But these are the main, the main ones. I think everything else is being um, dried that I've had. I've washed them. The colors here are a little bit more subdued with the exception of the uh, Bendy Luminous Amber. This one, whoopsie, this one glows in the dark. So it's a fun element. So, ooh, that shimmer, so pretty. I love this ink so much. And it looks like I'm having troubles here, but hopefully that will not be a problem when I drop down. Anyway, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you had a great weekend, and we'll see you again soon. Take care.